Sagittarius, if your spirit guides could give you a message right now with regards to any area of your life, this is a message that they would want to give you. So we are going to get the first card out, which is going to be what's currently in your energy. Then we're going to get out the energy around you. So we're going to actually have a look and see um, what is going on in your world. And then we're going to see what we do not see coming. Remember, this is a general reading. If it resonates with you, you're going to know. If it doesn't, please do check your rising, your moon, and your Venus. Um, also, you can go check into the playlist that I will put up in the description box below as well at the end of this reading where you can go check into other readings as well that may call to your soul. So let's get started Sagittarius. What's the main energy in your world currently right now that Spirit Guide would like to draw attention to? So let's have a look and see what's going on with you here. Let's see what Spirit Guide would like to draw your attention to right now. What are you worried about? How sad are you? Are you worried? <laughs> okay, because we've got nine of air coming in here. Expecting the worst. Don't do that, okay? Self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights. The nine of air can be seen as a kind of like insomnia because you may be worried about something. You may be having a difficult time to sleep. Um, it could be two different things here. It's either depression, okay, or anxiety. So depression gets caused usually by a few different things. It can be caused by remembering things from your past and things that hurt you, people that hurt you can cause depression. Depression is also caused when you are not living your most authentic life. So when you're not living a life that you're meant to be living, you will become depressed. And then it can also be anxiety, which is worrying about things in the future that have not yet happened. Worry that, worrying that things may go wrong. Okay, this... you. You've got to sort that out because it is the magic moment when you are in bed at night, you're falling asleep and you're about to put your head out on the pillow and you try and snuggle up over there and all of a sudden you start thinking. I like to call it going down the rabbit hole. Um, you start thinking, I used to do this and I used to get insomnia as well. And I learned a little trick. I realized and I found out that the moments that you create your reality is that moment that moment where you're awake for two hours in your bed thinking about all the horrible things that can and have happened to you you literally that is the life that you are building for yourself so every single time you are thinking about what somebody did to you it's almost as if you're recreating another moment just like that but with someone else if you're thinking about all the things that can go wrong in your life you're literally pulling it towards yourself so you can use this great power that you have you see how powerful you are? You're literally controlling your own life here. You can use this great power to do the opposite. So you can start going to bed at night and instead of sitting there worrying or feeling bad, just sit and take that same energy and put it into the direction of how you feel yourself as if you're living in the life of your dreams. You have the a, amazing person with you that loves you. Picture that. You have, you're meeting an amazing person. Picture yourself in the career that you love, in the home that you love, living the life that you love. Just imagine, and if you cannot do it, just picture yourself waking up every single day exactly in the life that you want to be in. And just do that. Do something different. Even if you're thinking, oh, that will never work. Let me tell you something. You will be so surprised. One thing that happens is that you will have no more insomnia. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your world over here. Okay, this this is actually for me, actually not really, it could be a love reading. There's a possibility it can be a love reading here. I do see a lot of pentacles coming in here. So there's something about your stability or the life that you are living or something about the, what you're doing. It's frustrating you here. Let me just make sure that it's straight. It's frustrating you. Let's start out here. You've got the Knight of Swords coming in here. So this is something that happened uh, possibly recently, or you're even focusing on trying to create something in your life here. You're moving very quickly towards this, or you want this to come very quickly. You might have made a big change in your life here, went for what you wanted, um, and at the same time, you might not be, or you might be afraid that when you, what you've done here is not going to lead you to some kind of stability in the future. You could even be going, will I ever have a stable relationship? Will I ever have that financial stability? Did I make a mistake here to go for something? Because um, you've got that fear here about stability, the four pentacles. You literally have this um, fear that either, you know, you've got to hold money tight or you've got to 
be careful with every move that you make or you have to or you worried about that long-term future will it be okay in two years from now will i be okay in a year from now what if i had to lose my job what if i I can't afford to the place where I'm living. What if I don't find a stable relationship? What if the relationship that I'm in has a problem? You see, even though I can see here, you've made up your mind to go somewhere and do something. You just don't know if you're actually going to see it coming. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles, that's quite interesting because the Seven of Pentacles actually talks about you actually having seen some kind of results here. But the Seven of Pentacles is more about what is still coming. And because you've only seen maybe a part of your life existence here, you have seen, I mean, you're here, okay, you're in this reading with me, you've got Wi-Fi, you've got a phone, you've got a computer, TV, something is going on with you for you to be able to watch this reading. So you've got something going, okay, so um, it's more about what's still coming. You might be afraid that you lose something, you might be afraid that you don't have a long-term relationship. Um, one of the interesting things that always comes up for this card for me was uh, like my oldest daughter, whenever I worry about something, my oldest daughter will always come in and look at me and go, um, so do you have a roof over your head? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, do you have food in the fridge? And I'm like, yeah. Do you have like, you know, um, clothing? Yeah. Okay. Do you have Wi-Fi? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, oh, you're doing better than okay. What do you worry? Are you in danger right now? No. Is the world collapsing right now? No, then stop it. And I, when she told me that as well, it kind of like made me go, you know, be in the present moment, <laughs> be in the present moment. So there is a sphere here, possibly that you might, let me talk about the five of pentacles. So five of pentacles can be you worried or have this fear that you might have a breakup in a connection or a breakup has happened. You're wondering if you'll ever have that stable connection again. You could be worried that you are going to, or you, are going to lose your job you're going to lose where you're living some kind of stability is going to be lost here you might have even had a financial setback already with the situation might have even had a job loss already so you could be really really worried here is everything going to be okay for me am i going to have that stability so what i'm going to tell you with regards to your situation there's two cards unfolding here both of them are twos one is the two of wands and one is the two of swords I do feel, I'm taking them out together because they're tied together. I do feel like possibly in the next two weeks, two months, okay, this is something that you do not see coming. During this time that you're waiting for an event to take place, what I'm seeing here, you're going to feel like you're kind of meandering around here, not really knowing what's going to happen. You're kind of blinded here. You see she's blindfolded and there's birds flying around there. So it's almost like she's trying to knock the birds away from her. She can't even see them. Um... The, I feel like you're going to be a bit in this energy of kind of like worrying like this. But within this time frame, there is a choice that you need to make here. There is a fork road that you're going to hit. The road that you're on is going to split, okay? And you're going to end up having to make a decision between possibly staying or going or left or right or something or the other. Uh, could be a decision that you're going to make yourself or it could even be... Um, uh, something that happens that makes you uh, need to make this decision. Okay, so I'm really, really, really curious to see exactly what this is going to be for you. All right, let's have a look in here and see for my Sagittarius out there what we do not see coming in. Okay, so let me see. We've got the Lovers card coming in here. We've got Gemini coming into your reading. And we've got the Three of Wands. So there we go. Your Two of Wands, your Three of Wands. There it comes. We've got a Nine of Cups. All right, got an Ace of Cups here. Wow. Cancer coming in with the Chariot card, the Empress, and the Hierophant. you got to know this. you got to know this. In life, King of Cups. Okay, emotional satisfaction, peace. Okay, you got to know this. It doesn't matter what your current situation looks like. It doesn't matter what you're worrying about. It doesn't matter what's happening around you. You've got to carry this belief system that you are, A, always going to the best possible scenario in your life. Everything is always going to turn out exactly perfectly for you. That is like legit my motto. Everything unfolds perfectly for me all the time. Everything unfolds perfectly, perfectly for me all the time. It's like, you know, I, I just, I carry this belief and I've been carrying it with me for a long, long time. And I, it really does show up in that way. 
it's like even the wind blows for me or the rain rains for me everything is just happening exactly for me and i had that belief it's not selfish it's creating the best possible outcome and you've got to carry this belief because i see with these two cards coming up here your lover's card and your chariot um let's talk about these two cards okay because both of them are kind of the same kind of feeling and they're different but they could be the same thing but they could also be different so if you're wondering about love here let me tell you something you got love what you're seeing now what you have experienced before doesn't predict your future those are just your, that's just your history it's not your future okay your future is mutable your future is changeable okay so you've got a lover's card coming in here with gemini it can mean a balance getting put back into your life or the path that you need to take you're finally on the right one with the two of wands coming in here you have a path the choice to take a choice to make and i feel like the choice that you're making is going to put you into balance and into the right direction it can also be love that is coming up for you okay can be love there is an event that after the two of wands we are moving to the three of wands so i do feel like in some kind of way here you are making a choice this possibility that you're leaving something behind or changing something in your life you're turning your back on it and you're having almost like this new direction that you're going in um this involves some kind of expansion in your world like your world gets bigger the a meeting of new people and um the people that you meet could be beneficial to you there could even be one special person that you meet here this comes in after a change has taken place so that's another thing as well the change can take place inside of you it can there's a decision that you make the change can take place in your life in general no matter what it is here we you cannot keep doing the same thing every single day and expect a different result so you got to do something differently if you want different results so i feel like you either make the decision yourself or life comes in and says hey let, let, let us answer your prayers you know let us make a change come in for you so you are forced to do something differently so that you can get a different result and this is when you are going to get what you're actually looking for here you literally got the knight of cups and the ace of cups so there is an incoming energy here that's very very different to that i feel like it comes in here to change this it can be you that makes these decisions and it brings this in it can be life like i said that brings it in this can be a person coming in here with the knight of cups that's a beautiful card because it's known as the courtship card in the tarot somebody coming in and putting on their best behavior you know trying to impress you this could also be a person that be, gets sent in here as a gift from the heavens for you and it's also it can be something else as well if you're not interested in love this can be an offer that comes into your life here that's going to make you very very happy you are i feel like going to go for that whatever it is um it's almost like you were a little bit off your path you know with this uh, fork road here but you're never off your path it's never that way you must understand something um in the buddhist belief system which i'm not a buddhist but i really love the belief systems um they always say everything is unfolding in perfect divine order even when it looks like it's not and i remember hearing that from a buddhist um priest one day when we were in our own country and we had uh, the uh, country above us which was zimbabwe which is still zimbabwe of course and there was a, a whole bunch of really bad stuff going on there and somebody asked that buddhist priest like um so if everything's so perfect what do you think about what's happening in the country above us and he literally said it's all perfectly in divine order even the chaos and that made me go wow um life is always unfolding in the way it's meant to be because something negative can happen to you that you may not like that is going to lead you or change you in such a way that you make new choices new decisions that leads you to where you're meant to be so everything even the good the bad and the ugly it's always where you're meant to be it's always taking you to where you're meant to be you know so we have to trust that you're literally on the road here to something with a chariot card you got cancer and what you're on the road to here is two major arcanas coming in here first of all we got the empress the empress is the complete opposite of all of those cards here she is not the four of pentacles she is not the nine of air or the nine of swords she's not the five of pentacles she is not the two of swords she is happy in her world she is living in an environment where she feels like 
She's at peace in her life. She hasn't got fear with her. She hasn't got stress with her. She hasn't got all these things that have been bothering you all this time. It gets removed from you because you make one decision here. I don't know what this decision is going to be, but it's going to come up in the next two months. Okay. I feel like you should, if it scares you, I feel like you should do it. Honestly, if it scares you, that's your choice. Don't hold back. Don't let fear keep this door shut on you. Because the scariest things we do, um, having to go out there maybe and do something that's so out of our comfort zone, that's going to take us somewhere and be like, oh, what am I doing? Um, it leads you to your destiny, <laughs> you see. And because you've got wisdom that you're about to gain here with Taurus coming in with a Hierophant, okay? So you've got a very strong energy coming in here of you at the end of this journey, literally looking back and go, so that's why it happened. <laughs> so that's why I experienced everything that I experienced. It wasn't to punish me. It wasn't to make me unhappy. It was to get me here. And you're going to understand and you're going to know if I didn't go through that negative experience or many negative experiences, I wouldn't even appreciate what I have right now. I wouldn't even understand what I have right now. I might even blow it. It's like if you're a child, you know, and... Your parents are maybe wealthy, you know what I mean? And they give you money, they give you a nice car, you know what I mean? You're going to not care about that car. You know, ride that car into the ground, you're like, don't care. But if you work really hard at life and you, you make that money on your own and you go buy a nice car, you're going to look after that car like it's the most important thing in the world to you. You're going to be like, I don't want to scratch it, I want to drive it carefully, you can drive nicely. But if you've been spoiled, you don't really know, then you're not the hierophant. So I feel like you, the person who's going to take care of that car, you know what I mean? Because you've gained the wisdom of not having it. So you know what it is when you get this gift of the happiness in your life here. Yeah? It can be a relationship coming in here. Yeah? This person and you almost probably live together, possibly even um, with the empress, uh, even have children if that's what you want. Um, but it's a very nurturing feeling between the two of you. And you're going to look back and see, you're even going to tell this to other people. You're even going to be like, when you see somebody else in this place and they come up here and they're saying, um, I am never happy. I'm never going to be happy for the rest of my life. You're going to look at them with wisdom. You're going to look at them and go, yes, you will. You're going to be fine. And they're going to be like, no, I'm not going to be fine. It's all terrible. My life is horrible. And they'll be like, no, hold on a bit longer. You're going to give the wisdom, Ellen, because you have experienced it. You've seen it in your own life, how things can change. This is for you. And I'm telling you from my own experience, this is true. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're currently going through right over here. It's not your future. It is one moment, one breath. And you will step away every moment to changing that. As long as you choose what you're going to think about. Especially if you're going to uh, worry the entire day long, go right ahead and do that. Okay. I don't do that because I, I like to be happy. You know what I mean? Um... As long as when you go to bed at night, when you put your head down on the pillow, don't go there. Control your own mind. Don't let your mind control you. You are not your body. You are not this brain. You are the soul that lies within it. And sometimes we don't even drive this car. We're letting this car go on autopilot and this is what it's doing. You need to get control of it. Okay. And you need to get control of that mind. You need to get control. You need to even put it in a state like mind stop it sometimes when i think negatively i used to get into this habit as well in the day and my mind kind of goes with me i would immediately catch myself doing it and at that moment when you catch yourself doing it you just awakened you woke up it's like sometimes we're living in a coma you know in this body we're not even really we're on autopilot constantly and if you catch yourself going down into the nine of swords and you catch yourself talking badly about yourself worrying about the future talking about people what they did to you in the past in your mind you catch yourself doing that you literally say whoa brain what are you doing stop it right now you just woke up in your body that's called enlightenment and you just got enlightened <laughs> you know what i mean if you can do that one thing especially when you go to bed first of all a you will not have insomnia anymore <laughs> no more you will sleep like a baby and b you will start to create the things that you think about. And not like you haven't got it. I want to have this, like you're praying, please bring me this, please bring me. No, you're never going to get it. You're always going to be please begging. 
um, you're going to just talk, think about it as if you're experiencing it. Just the way you think about it as if you're experiencing all the negative stuff. Swap it around and see miracles happen here. This one thing. Just do this one thing. <laughs> there we go, Saji. Yeah, you got me in this reading. Hey, I, whenever the, I see this nine of swords, I get so activated, especially with the cards that come up here, because I know, and I want you guys to know as well, I promise you, your life can change. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much. If you want to catch more content, do subscribe. Oh my goodness. And if you want to catch more videos of yourself, there'll be a playlist here. That is my new pick a card reading on the other channel that I'm busy with. If you want to go check it out, you can go see. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.